What's going on, folks? Can all hear Bulls on Wall Street? I want to talk to you about a trade that we did today uh, that we just killed. Uh, this NVIDIA trade, we ended up making about a thousand bucks on this. We had a pretty good day. I only trade about 15 minutes today, but a pretty good day. And I had a sick, a sick setup in this. It's called the sell the news event setup. Okay. And so this typically can happen on any stock that's gone on a big, big run. So this stock has been at $25 and it's really run up all the way to $120. And yesterday they had uh, their earnings released after hours. And so they had really good earnings. They beat earnings. Uh, you know, uh, the tone was great. Everything looked good about them. But when a stock has gone up this much, right, it's priced for perfection. And so what happens is if you can't really exceed uh, beyond even the expectations of exceeding, then the stock can really have some trouble. And when you can couple that with technical factors like levels, now you have this sweet spot where you can take a potential short for a sell the news event, right? And that happens in trading all the time. It's called buy the rumor, sell the event. And so that's kind of what happened with NVIDIA here. So if you look at NVIDIA like um, after market, uh, after they announced their earnings, this thing dropped down to about 107, and then it came all the way back up. This is the pump. And so what they do here is you'll see all these analysts coming out and upgrading the stock, and people are defending it, saying it's good, and it's all happening after market. So it's not, market's not even open. And this is usually just a sign of bullshit. But the key is this. you know, We can't make guesses. When we make biases or guesses, we get smoked. Trading is about understanding your levels and managing your risk. And so as this thing is farting back up here, right, I know from my daily chart that this 121-ish area is like your major resistance, right? If you're looking back at really like any sort of time frame, this is your hourly time frame. I love analyzing my stocks in multiple time frames to really get an idea of those big picture levels. We know that those levels are here also and so you know on the seventh we kind of hit this we hit this level and then even yesterday you know um, not yesterday a couple days ago we were at this level and so today this stock gapped up see this um, from yesterday's close it gapped up right into resistance and so knowing those resistance levels can give you the edge because as soon as this thing tapped resistance and I got a red candle I essentially shorted this thing at 119 uh, and some change uh, with the stop right above. And that's it. And now it's just about letting the, the sell the news event at resistance levels play out. And so uh, this stock dumped down, uh, hit into its EMAs. Um, I essentially covered some. And then it popped up right into its VWAP here. And so I reshorted a little bit. And then, boom, just flush. One candle, two candles, and I'm out of this thing. I covered some at 114, 115, you know, 113s, and uh, just got out of it. It was literally a 15-minute trade or whatever. Uh, my original batch was like 200 shares, and I added 200, and I, so I was trading around about 200. I made a few trades on it uh, into this quick dump, and uh, I loaded up a, a thousand bucks, you know, a thousand bucks in a, a handful of minutes, and we had some other good trades uh, later today also, but. Really remember that when you're thinking about trading is what are your levels? A stock's not a breakout till it breaks out. Till it's under that level, you're under resistance. And guys, what's the whole point of resistance? Like what is the meaning of resistance? It resists. It holds down the level. It's like a brick wall. That's why they call it resistance. You're going to snap into it and so... Knowing that kind of big picture idea of the sell the news event, and then when you couple it with your resistance levels, now you have the perfect storm uh, of awesomeness. And uh, guys, I trade live in front of my students all day. I'm on screen share calling these fun trades out. Um, I teach this type of setup in our boot camp, uh, which will be starting one next month. And uh, I even have a free chat room day coming in so you can watch me trade in the next couple weeks. So uh, get ready for that. I'm going to put on a, a one hell of a show for you guys. But I uh, hope you guys learned something. Feel free to leave me any comments. Man, I love chatting with you guys about stocks and, uh, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. So uh, have a great weekend. It's Friday. Enjoy yourselves.
and uh, I will be ready to work on Monday and also Sunday. I'll see you guys around. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, subscribe right here. If you want to watch more videos, click right there.